things have been forgiven through Jesus. I am writing to you who are mature in faith. So he's telling us who the audience is, who is the recipient of this letter. And it's us. It's us. Because you know Christ who existed from the beginning. God's word lives in your hearts. Mm -hmm. And you have won your battle with the evil one. Mm -hmm. We haven't won it in and of ourselves, but because Christ lives in us. Mm -hmm. When he arose from that grave, mm -hmm. the battle was won. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Mm -hmm. All those things that attract us. You know, I always told my girls this growing up, they'd get a brand new outfit. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, you know, you've got to remember, this outfit might be making you happy right now, mm -hmm. but it's not going to fulfill you completely. Mm -hmm. That only comes from Jesus, girls. Mm -hmm. It's not in that new car, that new shiny car. Mm -hmm. It's not in that big fancy home. It's not in that new fuzzy sweater that you love so much. It's in Jesus Christ and Him alone. And this world is fading away. Wow. It's all going to burn up. All those things that mean so much to us that we love. My house is... Come on in and if you really need it, want it, come in. There's nothing in this home that I love so much that I wouldn't give to a burglar. It's like, take it. Just, you better be gone when I walk in the house. I don't want to get in when I walk in. Take it and get out. Dear children, the last hour is here. Even then, it was the last days. And here it is 2,000 or more years later. If it was the last days then, what are we in now? Okay. Yes, we are. He's at the very door. From this we know that the last hour has come. These people left our churches, but they never really belong to us. Isn't that... How many of you know someone, don't say any names, mm -hmm. but you know someone who walked with the Lord and tasted the Lord and saw that the Lord is good, and now they turned away. Anyone who denies the Son doesn't have the Father either, but anyone who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. So you must remain faithful to what you've been taught from the beginning. If you do, you will remain in fellowship with the Son and with the Father. Isn't that neat? That's the deity of Christ. How can they even mention the Son and the Father in the same breath unless they're one? Uh, but you have received the Holy Spirit and He lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know. So just as he has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. What? We might disagree in some minor areas. And Billy Graham used to say, if two people agreed on everything, one of them's not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but the important thing is, when I was led to Christ by Mac McKelvey, he said, don't major on the minors. Mm -hmm. Major on the majors. Mm -hmm. Does this person believe that salvation comes through Christ and Christ alone? Does this person believe that Jesus Christ took the punishment we deserve upon himself? <coughs> uh, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. We agree. We agree that it's through Christ and Christ alone. You might have a little differing opinion about what communion is. Maybe you think communion is... Um, mandatory. You need to do it every week. Maybe some churches don't. They do it once a month. Some churches don't even do it once a month. I mean, that's a minor. That does not have any bearing on your salvation. Living as children of God. This is what Mary said. You know better. Alright? And now, dear children, remain in fellowship with Christ so that when He returns, you will be full of courage and not shrink back from Him in shame. He says he comes like a thief in the night. Twinkling of an eye, we are not going to have a chance to get right with him. So just keep short accounts. Just confess, like he said in 1 John 1 night. Don't walk around in a state of sin. And that's the thing. A Christian will not be satisfied continuing in 
that kind of walk that does not bring glory to him. Amen.